Hey, 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 there's a super full moon out there tonight. Come on in and join me and let's talk about what's going on. Let's talk about all those vibrations emanating out from the cosmos to all of us. Come on in and join me. Terry and Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on in. Time to focus our energy for the week. Pull it in. Lots going on. We got the holidays. We've got the full moon. We've got all that Scorpio, Mars, Neptune transits, and Mercury retrograde. Lot going on. Hey, Miss Regina, come on in. Let's just take a few moments tonight. Talk about all this energy. Talk about what this December moon has for us right now. Come on in and join me. Take some breaths, open up, look at some cards. All right, I need this too. Yeah, crazy day already. All right, all this full moon. It is beautiful out there. I had to move my car and it's out there and just, ah, oh, beautiful and orange and a little foggy down here. Just really mystical and magical. Exactly what I'm feeling right now. All this energy. It's that little party this evening over at Laurie Zielinski, Z Girl Astrology. We're all talking about all these cosmic energy going on. Everything that's opening up. Yes, and Laurie has joined the spiritual leadership program. Excited about that. All right, so how are you tonight? All right, that's the first question we put out there. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on. Can you feel the moon? Can you feel these vibrations? Very intense today. A lot of drama going on. That's that full moon pole. It really is. So what is December all about? That's what we're going to be answering. We're going to look at how the energy is affecting all of us and what we can do to come into alignment. All right. Hey, Sin. Yep. Today was a kind of a hard day. Got some tears out there. Yep. That's exactly what this energy is bringing up for all of us to really look at our path, look at our energy. Where can we step it up? Where's the discernment? Very big word for this month. Discernment and upgrade. Those are the two big words coming out of everybody I've been reading. Mystical Mama and everybody else. All right, so everybody's joining in. Come on in. If you didn't choose a card, just think of what that number is for you. One, two, or three. And I'm going to go ahead and share this broadcast. If you could do the same, that would be super great. Share it out. Maybe there's somebody else that needs some of this energy right now. Have them come on in and join us, share it, watch it later, whatever works for you. All right, I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it over to the Empowered Spirit Circle. If you're not in the circle, come on over and join us. Yes, I'm actually going to be doing a Tuesday pranayama in the morning. Yes, so that you can, we all can get into that deep spiritual energy. I'm going to be leading it very early, 5.30 a.m., yep. I won't see you, so you don't have to get dressed, but you'll see me. I'll be on Facebook Live just in the group. We're going to practice our breathing. I'm going to lead you through a series of pranayama. It's going to take us probably to get through it all 15, 20 minutes, but it will set you up for the day. Definitely will set you up for the day. All right, got to share one more place. Here we go. Share it in my feed. A little trouble with Facebook right from the get-go. It was upside down and backwards. Yep, good old Facebook. You never know what you're going to get, even though. <laughs> All right, I think I've got it there. I think i got one more group I can share it with. Let's see here. And again, do me the same. Go ahead and share it out. It would be great. Just hit that share button. And like I said, if you're not in the, one more time, here we go. We have such amazing energy going on with that full moon. One more group. If you're not in Bragg Powell's group, the Big Reach video, you want to learn more about video on Facebook, that's the group to be in. All right. Got it all shared. All right. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Millie. Hey, Sean. Cindy, I see you guys coming in. So the question I'm going to be asking and talking about this week is where are you hanging out? We've got all this influence coming in. Where are you hanging out? Are you caught? Are you able to be inspired and up-level your work? Are you kind of stuck in all of that crazy stuff going on in the world? Are you stuck in that lower vibration of fear and doubt and struggle? Which is it for you? Where are you hanging out? Very big question right now as we look at all the cosmic influences going on. Really big. Give me a thumbs up if you know where you're hanging out. Are you inspired? Hashtag inspired. Are you stuck? 
Hashtag stuck. What is it for you right now? As we open up to this amazing, beautiful, super full moon, the last one of the year, although we've had a little controversy in the astrology world, is there one more at the end of the year? Or does January 1st start the new one? I think it depends really on where you are. But I think for the most part, where I am in Birmingham, this is the last full moon of the year. It's big. It's close. It's pulling on all of us. It really is. It's opening us up. We have the Gemini energy. All right, the moon is in Gemini. So that's a little bit of that push-pull, push-pull, push-pull energy going on, two sides of the story, right? So we can feel like that. But really what's we're asking us all to look at right now, all that Scorpio influence. Remember, if you didn't check out the podcast with Laurie, Z-Girl Astrology, about two weeks ago, check it out because we're still, we went right up to this time. She'll be back to give us the forecast for the rest of the year in about a week or two. But check out that podcast on the Empowered Spirit Show. Check it out. It gives lots of information. But right now we're at that full, full moon. So what we do tonight and what we do even in the morning is really relook. We're in Mercury retrograde. Did I mention that? Relook, redo, review your intentions that you set. All right. At the new moon two weeks ago, get your journal out. You should be writing down your intentions. Review it. And whatever it is for you right now, wherever you want to move forward in your life, in your life, that's the intentions you put out this full moon tonight. Put it out there, big, bold. Get your crystals out, all right? I've got my big old moon sphere, all right? I'm going to set all my intentions, and I'm going to let it be in the light of the moon to bathe in that moonlight, all right? This is a beautiful moon. Generally, you could do it every full moon, but tonight especially, it's a beautiful moon to set intentions, put your crystals out there, and let it just bathe in all of that beautiful energy, that intuitive energy, that feminine energy, all that energy that's rising forward. That's what we want to do. The energy is calling all of us now to be really strong in our spiritual purpose, in our spiritual practice, I mean. Really strong, non-negotiable, every single day. We need this vibration. We need your work. We need you to help raise it up. There's a lot of low energy. I agree. It's easy to get caught in it. All right? Just listen to the news for five minutes. All right? Listen to what happened in Washington. You can get pulled down. But it's up to us. It's up to us as light workers, as energy healers, to raise the vibration. That's exactly what this moon is calling us to do. To get into that place where you can step into your power. Be that spiritual warrior. Open up to your, your meditations each and every day. That's exactly what we can do. Three things. Become that fearless warrior, all right? We've got that Sag energy going on now. Suns and Sag, you've got that. So be strong in your practice. The second thing, use discernment and speak your truth. But do it in a way from the heart. Don't just speak of the mind and the ego. Do it from your heart. What is in the highest good? And the third thing is to celebrate. We're in that season of Thanksgiving and gratitude. Celebrate and let that raise your vibration. Offer gratitude. We need to keep our vibration high. Very important. How do we do that? Meditation, visualization, all right? And that's, again, where discernment comes in again, all right? When you're doing your meditations. Now, we talked about this last Sunday about imagination, opening up, let that be a gateway to your intuition, but we still need to use a little discernment, all right? I know if you've worked with me, we talk about the analyzer, we bring that scale down. We want to have it at about two. You need a little discernment right now. You need to discern the facts. You need to discern your own ability to open up to what you're doing so that you can make the choices that are really for your highest good. Don't get caught up in that ego. Don't get caught up in that self-doubt. All right, no time for self-doubt. Someone asked me that question recently. I'm in an Ely group with um, Elsie Escobar for podcasting. It's like, don't get caught up in that self-doubt. No time for that right now. Really be strong. All right, that builds your confidence. That builds your ability to step it up a notch. All of you, we need this in the world right now. We need to be able to help raise that vibration. So tomorrow, tomorrow my next podcast drops, all right? Very, very interesting guest, all right? Her name is Maureen J. St. Germain. She has a new book out. It is called Waking Up in 5D, A Practical Guide to Multidimensional Transformation. What is 5D? What is the fifth dimension? All right, we talk about a lot of things on there. I have to admit, there's some really unusual concepts. She talks about no more karma, no need for forgiveness. Like, what? I had to ask her that, yeah. And there are several concepts in there, too, that's like, hmm. I had to listen several times to the podcast as I was editing it to really understand. And you know what? I did. 
I did understand and I did recognize that we are working in that and it's a choice, a choice we all can make to keep that vibration high. All right, listen in tomorrow. It drops about 12 o'clock. You can probably find it an early bird shot at my own my website, poweredspiritshow.com. You can find it there. But we're really talking about how do we get in it? We're going to talk about fifth dimension. What is fourth dimension? What is third dimension? How do we move in between? How do we really work with that? Hey, Tessa. Very interesting conversation tomorrow. So be sure to check out that podcast, Empowered Spirit Show, with Maureen J. J. Maureen St. Germain. She's working and really doing a lot of great work talking about the fifth dimension. All right. Very interesting concepts. Really very exciting, too, for all the work that we do as healers, Reiki, meditation, crystal energy. All of this is helping to pull us up into that dimension. So be sure to check it out. All right. The week ahead is a little crazy. Holidays, Mercury retrograde just started right in line with this full moon. It's going to temper it a little bit, but yep, look at what's already happening with the airlines, pilots on vacation, right? That's perfect. Mercury retrograde energy. So just whatever it is, it doesn't mean you shouldn't do things. Check your stuff, check your work, check your travel, check your communications, whatever it is, just slow down, slow down. And go through your plans, go through your week, all right? So we're going to start out Monday and Tuesday really high with that emotional energy, all right? It might be a little bit too much for some. Then Wednesday's going to be our party day. Wednesday's going to be social. Wednesday's going to be fun. And then as we move into the rest of the week, that's really going to be a more of get it done, especially towards the weekend, moving into Virgo energy. It's going to be more of get your work done, all right? So very interesting week. Remember, remind yourself, review all of this. We're in the retrograde. Don't let it catch you short. Don't let it catch you by surprise, which really, we need to refresh our energy. This is a perfect time to do this right now. I know the holidays get busy, but take a chill. Take a yoga class. Come on over to the restorative. And actually on Wednesday nights, I've, I've uh, have the Reiki circle, but we're actually having it as a healing circle. If you know of somebody that needs healing, send me their names if you can't make it. And we're just building the circle building a circle of light to help spread this energy all around. So yes, you can post about that in the Empowered Spirit Circle as well. All right. So we're going to just work a little bit on opening up to the, the light of the moon in our meditation this evening, and then we're going to get to the card. So wherever you are, if you can, take a nice deep inhale. Ha! Ah, just exhale out. Just let all of that running around from the weekend go, from the whole week. Let it go. Open up, inhaling and exhaling, sending that breath all the way down deep into the earth. Inhaling as we open up, bring the energy up the body and as you exhale, bring it all the way back down. Open that vertical channel, inhaling, just close your eyes for a moment and exhale out. And as you take that next inhale, call in, call in divine spirit, call in your masters, your teachers, call in your own spirit guides, ask that they work with you and through you to surround you as you open up to the energy of this week, all for the highest good. Let's honor a place right here in the universe. We're coming to the end of fall. We're in the direction of the West where the sun sets, where we harvest our work. We offer gratitude and we rake away what no longer serves. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. And just for a moment, imagine that full moon right above your head. Imagine it like a globe. Bring in that illumination. It illuminates, reflects from the sun, the moon, the stars, all of that energy. And allow it to open up your light body. Allow the subtle body to resonate with that full moon energy right now. And then ask yourself, what is your intention? Where are you hanging out? What is your intention you want to put out into the universe? And expand, expand. Let it be bright. Let it be radiant. Yes, put that energy out. Inhaling as you open your heart. And exhale, send that energy out all around. Inhale, pull the energy back in and send it behind. Release the past. Release all that stuff. Exhale, back to the heart. One more time. Inhale, up the body. And exhale, back down. Feel that radiant light coming from the moon. Inhale, out in front. 
and exhale, pull it all the way back behind. Now just gather up all of your energy coming right into the very center. Feel your feet on the floor, feel it aligning for your week, pulling all those little parts back as we go to open up to a brand new week filled with light, filled with possibility, filled with depth. Taking a nice deep inhale, and exhale, coming back, opening the eyes, coming back. Super full moon, super charged. Yeah, let it guide you. All right, tonight I decided to choose from the Good Tarot. Beautiful cards, Colette Baron reads. Beautiful cards that come forward. Very positive deck of tarot cards. I love them. The imagery is beautiful. All right, so if you chose one, here we go. If you chose one... This is the seven of water. Water's our emotional energy, our dreamy energy. Look at that. Look at all that dreaming. Look at all that ability to connect all the pieces, to open up to your desires and your wishes. That's what this energy is about. Seven is also spiritual. Seven's a number for spirituality. Connect to your dreams and your visions. Open up to all that possibility. Don't get yourself stuck. All right? This is exactly the Scorpio energy, which is opening all of us up. All right, the only thing to be careful about with this card is just check in. Don't get too caught in the illusions, all right? Go with the dreams, but there's that discernment coming in. There's that discernment coming in. Sean, did you choose one or three? You, I think you chose three, all right? That was number one, though, all right? Just dream, dream, dream. Infinite potential is out there. If you chose two, two is the Empress card. Look at that, Spiritual Warrior. That's about... Fertility. That's about new possibilities. That's about all the new things that can come into your life right now. It's about opening up, stepping into a new version of who you are. Beautiful card. Really rich and ripe. Having all the tools that you need. Really beautiful card right now. Step into it. Don't be afraid. Release those lower vibrations. All about new ideas coming forward. Just feel that radiant energy with the light of the moon. If you chose card three... Me, me, and me, Regina. All right. Cheryl, here we go. Card three. I love this card. Seven of Earth. Another spiritual number. Another seven coming forward. All right. This is a warrior card. This is about really stepping up your, your, your path. This is about making a decision. You have a choice to make. Do you want to go about the same thing, the same way, doing it over and over, or... Is it time for you to really step it up, up-level your work, and make that choice? This card is asking you to contemplate that, to trust that up-leveling, all right? Seven is reaching us up. Trust that. Know that you can always course correct. I love it. You can always make a change if you need to, all right? This is a really important card right now. This is what that Scorpio energy is all about. Step it up. Look at all her gifts. Look at the pentacles coming up the side of her. She's doing her work. This is what it's about. Now, this also can represent some of that long-term energy. Like, okay, I'm going to dig in right now, and I'm going to really do the work I need to get to where I want to be. I'm tired of living in that same old, same old. I love that one. That one I love. All right. So, the universal card for all of us is the Five of Earth, which is kind of interesting because this is a card about, it is about conflict. All right. So, yes, there is conflict going on, right? Hey, Patty. There is conflict going on in the world at large. Look how she's rising above it, all right? Look how she's dancing to her own dreams. Look at the beautiful peace birds around her, all right? This reminds us that we can all learn about conflict. We can all learn how to overcome it. Conflict doesn't have to be bad, all right? How you choose to do with it, deal with it is what's important. This is where we learn our lessons. So be able to rise above the conflict. Offer gratitude for it because it shows us a different way to look at things. All right? Be that dancer within you. Dance to your path. That's really important right now. We don't always have to agree with everyone, right? But you agree with what's inside of you. All right? So this is our universal card. Now, the way that we continue to do this with the conflict again is going back to that seven of, of water. Dream it. Vision it. Don't get caught in the illusions, though. Very important, all right, to get rid through those conflicts as well. All right, know that there is something new and ripe building. So sometimes when we're in conflict, we don't quite understand it because we don't know it. It's the unknown. We don't know what we don't know, right? All right, so be that warrior to move through it and know that sometimes 
conflict brings up the opportunity to make that choice. Yes, this can be a applied to inner conflict, Cynthia. It absolutely can, Tessa. Inner conflict too. So know that this is about also working through that conflict and making a choice. Maybe it's that course correct. My favorite words from the year, course correct. All right, so how this plays out for you during the week, use the dream time, especially this full moon. As we move through the middle of the week, open up to that warrior. Have fun. Put on a new hat. Put on a new mask, right? That's what it's showing. Change. Check it out. Step into a new role. Up level and upgrade. Don't be afraid to make choices. How many times I've made them, you can course correct all the time. All right? Wonderful draw. Spot on. All right, Brooke. Thanks. Yes. All right, guys. Take a nice deep inhale. I've got one or two more minutes. Anybody want a card? I'm going to offer a few. This is a new deck for me, so let's see what we have. I'm going to check and see. Great energy this week. Don't forget to join me on Tuesday mornings in the group. Sean says, I'll take three, two. Why not, Sean? Absolutely. And you did choose one. All right. So one is dream and visions, and three is making a shift in energy, right? Making a choice to do that. All right. So don't forget to join me Tuesday mornings, Facebook Live, in the group. Be in the group. We're going to do Pranayama series. I'll guide you through. We're going to do it each week. Really get into that focused energy and the podcast tomorrow. Very excited. Check it out. Let me know what you think, all right? It's very interesting, very, very interesting wor uh, work that we talk about. We talk about the, the, I'm looking to see here who everybody's saying, draw one for me. All right, let's see if I can go back to it. We're going to talk about, again, the Merkaba, the Flower of Life, Fifth Dimension. Very interesting. All right, let's see. Brooke. Brooke, I'm going to start with you. Here we go. I'm going to draw a card for you. The Ace of Fire. New passions, new desires. Look at the orange. Look at the light. Yes, it's time to light your fire, Miss Brooke. It's time to up-level your work. Definitely. Talk to me about that. Come on. It is time for you to do that. I love that. Look at that card. Look how bright it's shining. You have it inside of you. I know you do. All right. Great card. Yes, Cindy, I have Virginia in our prayers. Tessa, here we go. <sighs> Get so inspired. The Eight of Air. All right. The Eight of Air is abundance and prosperity, and the air is in that mental plane. So don't, don't think that your dreams aren't being heard. All right. Put them out there. Look, she's trying to grab them. All right. So, yes, be really clear. Put those intentions out. Eight is infinite possibility. All right. Look how it's look at how all those things coming up into the sky. Don't be afraid to put them out. Wow. She's really beautiful. She's dropping wings and wings are flying up. So know that your angels are there. Put those ideas. Eight is about the ideas and the mental plane. All right. Infinite possibilities. Don't cut yourself off from dreaming, all right? All right, Regina, how you doing? How's you, how you feeling lately, woman? I haven't seen you. I miss you, though. All right, here you go, Regina. Three of Earth. That's all about celebration. Celebrate. Celebrate with your friends. Celebrate with the women, all right? Be connected to Mother Earth. Honor where you are. I know sometimes it's hard for you. I know you have some struggles going on. I pray for you all the time. You're on my prayer list. But celebrate, too, with those that are around you. Don't forget that. That will help to raise your vibration, all right? Very important. All right. Cindy and then Cheryl. Here we go, Cindy. Ace of Earth's in. New beginnings. Earths are about our pentacles, our work. I love it. It looks like a reindeer. It looks like perfect time for the holidays. Look at that. But aces are all about new beginning, and aces of Earth is about new work coming your way, money coming your way. So open up. This looks like a really holiday card. That's so funny. Look. Beautiful. Standing on the earth, though. Manifest, 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 manifest. Time to bring it in. That's in the physical, all right? All right, Cheryl, this one is for you. The hanged man. I love the hanged man. All right, Cheryl, this is calling for you to have patience in your life. All right, hang upside down. Be at one with the earth. Bring in that spiritual energy. Take a different look at things, all right? Hopefully that'll under you'll understand what I'm talking about, but it's time to just kind of hang upside down, take perspective. It always reminds us to have patience with our life, all right? All right, let's see. All right, Brooke, yay, you're coming to the party. That's right, I forgot. The party this Saturday at my studio, 2 to 9, Birmingham, uh, Birmingham Yoga is where I'm located, inside Birmingham Yoga, Natural Forces Studio, 2 to 4, 
on the 9th, that's this Saturday, we're going to be making some, do some make and takes essential oils, some salt, some cream, some perfumes. We're going to be blending. Yes. And really fun pop-up is coming. Lucky Cat rolled ice cream. She's going to be doing some ice cream rolls for us in a vegan, a really healthy one, and some ginger too. Very excited to have her there. Going to have some jewelry on display and just lots of fun. We had a great time last year. So just stop in anytime in between there. Lots going on. My way of offering a big love and thanks to all of you guys. All right, Terry Harris, how you been? One more card. Here we come. Nine of Earth. Nine of Earth is all of love. It's like a wish card, all right? Look at all that abundance in your life. Wish for what it is you want next. Nines are almost completion. There's still a little more, Terry. What is it you want? Put those intentions out, all right? This is a great card for the fullness of the moon. You're building your work. You've got a lot going on. What is that next step going to be for you? Beautiful card, all right? What is that for you? Hallelujah, Tessa. All right, thanks. Ter Patty, how are you up in New York, woman? I love seeing you on Facebook. You've been all around. Here you go, Patty, just for you. King of Earth, all right? That's like that. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful card. That's one who is really connected to the earth. So get outside, be that loving energy, be that one with the earth, with nature. Really dig in, ground your energy. This is a beautiful card because then you help others and I know you do. So this is really asking, look at his horns, look at the crown. Really be strong in your path, woman. Don't give it up for anything, all right? Really important. King of Earth is also that abundance and that pentacles, all that money and that wealth. So dig in. What are you doing now, all right? Asking you to look at that and asking you to be really strong in that energy to bring in that as well. All right, got a little text there from Paige. All right, Paige, yep, you got it too. King of Earth. He is really very, very strong one that's grounded. This can either reflect a part of you or maybe someone in your life, Patty. We haven't caught up for a while, so I don't know where it is. But look for that this week to come in, and you have to ask the discernment. Is this about someone in my life, or is this about someone coming in, or yourself? All right, Regina, you're in the hospital, but you're good. All right, dear, I've got you in my prayers. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Kirby, first time I'm in. All right, North Carolina, come on over and join us in the Empowered Spirit Circle. You have some fun stuff coming up Tuesday morning, 5.30 a.m. All right, Pranayama. All right, pushing forward. All right, Terry, Patty, thank you. All right, Patty, love you guys. All right, guys, lots of energy out there. We're, stay really strong to your path. Check out the Empowered Show. It was powerful. <laughs> Check out the Empowered Spirit Show tomorrow when we talk all about fifth dimension. Really fascinating. Like I said, I had to listen myself about four times to really understand, and I did get it. All right, and I hope you will too. So Saturday's the party. Come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle. Tuesday mornings, this Tuesday, we start, 5.30 a.m., Pranayama. Yep, and if you're thinking about the Spiritual Development Academy, two spots left, two spots left, come on and join that. Yes, and there's still a couple spots if you want to do just the Reiki 3 Master Practitioner level. All right, guys, I love you so much. Tis the season to be happy. I know sometimes it's hard, but it's a choice. I know for me it's not my favorite, but when I stick to my spiritual practice, I can do it, and I know you can too. So come with us, join in, let's really... Tap into that energy that is around us right now. Go out, say hello to the moon. Put your intentions out there. Have a great week to your spirit. Thanks for all the hearts. I love you guys. Thank you so much to your spirit. Namaste.